All right, let's see here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Sweetheart, you might have turned it down a little bit. Um, now, I, I, I just wanted to weigh in on a few things, family. Not feeling the best. My grandbaby over here then gave me her version of the coronavirus. Uh, shout out to Universal as well. Um, uh, uh, thank you for uh, sending me <laughs> those funny clips. You know, I think the best thing in the, uh, to do is to start your day off with laughter. It's one of the things that I do. Uh, to keep me sane. And uh, I thank you for sending me a boatload of clips that I can just crack up to. <coughs> <coughs> and I've been doing it for the last couple days. So shout out to you. I also want to address the conversation that we were having. But that's in another video. Uh, but right now what I want to do you guys is I really, really, really... Um, uh, first of all, let me, let me acknowledge, uh, Sister Janet Dubois, I must, who was such an integral part of my youth playing Wilona on Good Times, uh, what's that, um, bees on burn on the grill. Took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Now we're up in the big leaves, getting our turn and pass. As long as we live, it's you and me, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now we're moving on up, yeah, to the east side, to a deluxe apartment. In the sky, and we're moving on up. Y'all remember that? Yeah, I want to say rest in peace to my sister. Um, job well done. You did your craft, and you did it. Uh, of course, that wasn't the only uh, thing she played in. She was in the I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. She kept working all the way up until the very end. And I, I, from what I'm hearing, they found her uh, deceased this morning uh, at her residence. So, um, rest in peace to that sister. Now, let's, let's, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I really, really want to, um, I really want to touch on this. Because it's real important that I, I try to give a balanced perspective. Uh, and it's very important because both of these brothers I love very much. I love Boosie because uh, <laughs> we brought him here to Milwaukee. And he turned it out with his ratchet self. We always try to do little things for the young people. And uh, he was one of the uh, artists that uh, stays in Milwaukee. I think we like a second home to him. Uh, and, uh, Homer Blow and all the rest of the uh, folk here. So I got love for Boosie with his crazy self and his crazy uh, and straight real as he is. You know, there's some flaws in like what we all say, but I don't judge Boosie um, because I try to look at his heart in terms of the comments that he made. Now, I think that he overspoke uh, when he thought that uh, Zaya is going uh, going to have a sex change, and what's how they call it now, reassignment surgery, because now you know everything has to be politically correct, and people are so more concerned with being politically correct than being analytically intelligent. Analytically intelligent. Somebody made the comment that. A, a young man can't wear dreadlocks without getting his hair cut, but it's okay for a black boy or to put on a dress and to go to school and have a uh, you know sex change or have express his 
sexuality. Now that's a problem because I in that little thing right there, I want y'all to see the, the 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 madness. If you don't accept a black young man for having dreadlocks in his hair, but you can accept him having a transition of sex change at only twelve years old when he's going to go through a lot of psychological changes between being a young and and being a, an adult. So. I think that's where Boosie got a little mixed up at. I think uh, Boosie's passion was because he spoke too soon. And he thought that they were talking. It seemed to me. I ain't speaking for the man. But it seemed to me that he thought the little boy was going to get a. The little girl. Little boy was going to get a a, um, a. a gender reassignment. Now. So. I want to say this to Dwayne Wade, who I love very much, and watched plenty of games with him and Marquette, you know, right down the street. Uh, so you know I got love for Dwayne, and um, I'm 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 gonna say this because I really appreciate the sense I appreciate the sensitivity that they are showing, uh, they baby. I I, you know, I remember having my father here hearing some stuff about me. And I think one of the most humiliating things that ever happened to me was my father came in the house and he started talking about, Hey, Khadija, I heard about these women eating out each other's boxes. Do you eat out boxes? And all that, you know, talking crazy and really derogatory and very insensitive. And even when I talk about it today, I still get a lump in my throat because I thought it was the most cruelest, inhumane, a uh, conversation to have with my parent. It wasn't a conversation. It was him being evil. And so I appreciate Dwayne and Gabby for handling their situation the way they are handling it. Damn what y'all think in terms of the public. That ain't none of y'all uh, business It's because it's not hurting your family. Second of all, the way they manage their family has nothing to do with you. And I'm glad they're allowing that baby to walk in his truth, in her truth. If she wants to be called a little girl right now, she's comfortable with that, that's fine. If it sticks forever and that's really a concrete feeling of what she has, time will tell. Time will tell. Y'all don't have to get all bent out of shape. Because the only thing will be permanent is if the person did have a gender reassignment. And I didn't hear anybody mention anything about the gender reassignment. So, you know, it's really important that y'all recognize that there's a gay mafia. And it's, it's, it's a bunch of white men who are controlling everything, who controls the narrative of air as usual, who uh, will send them gay mafia after you. No matter what your sexual preference is, if you disagree with how they running things or saying things. But again, what it is is a bunch of white males who are um, being just as bombastic are, as they are being running this society. The way they run this society and not giving a damn about anybody. And if you say what they don't like, they send... Uh, a revenge squad after you it's the same thing it's the same white males that's running this uh, gay mafia Michael Jackson spoke of them um, I mean again it's just a bunch of white men who can do anything they want to do and they take advantage of whatever uh, whatever subject it is that they feel they deem they want to infiltrate themselves in they take over and they try to uh, shape the narrative. So all I want to say is, uh, in terms of that, y'all need to back off. Uh, I don't like a situation like uh, where a person is trying to assign, have a. I'm sure people wouldn't try to have a, a gender reconstruction surgery on a person that young, because there's a lot of videos on about children that was born hermaphrodites 
and their parents tried to play God and did certain things to them, and they grew up still being what they were genetically coded to be, uh, and but it wasn't matching. See, and once y'all begin to delve into sexuality a little bit with the ex, get into the science of it. I don't think people will be so bent out of shape. But people don't want to do any reading. And of course, uh, they just see no gray areas. It's just black and white. And they don't understand. Because if they really understood sexuality from a, in my opinion, from a scientific level, then uh, <laughs> so much of this stuff would just be, uh, would be mute. It really would. That's just my opinion. Uh, tell me how you feel in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about Dwayne Wade and uh, his daughter, his son, whatever you, you know, he wants to I be identified as a daughter. Uh, what do you think about that? What do you think about the backlash that Dwayne and Gabrielle Union are getting? And what do you think about the backlash that Boosie um, is getting towards Hatch in terms of his comments? Uh, you think his heart was in the right place? Or you think it was just some ignorance? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay, I will be back in another with another video.